Hello there. I thought I would share with you a real life example, something that happened uh, to me over the last couple of days. Uh, Modelling what it feels like, what it looks like to actually be in your empowered feminine and how when we are showing up in the world in a, with an empowered energy, it's a win-win for everybody involved. So I get really pissed off. This is my thing. So if you're watching this and thinking of doing this in my space, maybe think again. I get really pissed off when anybody comes into my private Facebook group, which I've been building for years, and sells their stuff. It really pisses me off. The terms and conditions of the group are very clear that it's not allowed. Um, I don't mind promoting other people's stuff. I love promoting other people's stuff when I know them, when I know their product. I love collaboration. I love supporting others. I don't believe in competition. Uh, I and I, I I do believe in sort of healthy competition, but I think that in a way there's a there's a um, I don't know. Uh, look, uh, <laughs> let me not go down that rabbit hole. Suffice to say, I am happy to promote other people's work if I know them, if I rate them, and if they ask my permission first. Um. So. I'm seeing it more and more and more because I think there's a bunch of coaches out there teaching this model and bless those coaches who are going in to learn this model of marketing and advertising themselves and they think they're doing the right thing because someone's telling them to do it. Um, But I'm telling you now, I don't think it's the right thing to go into somebody else's space and start selling your stuff, particularly if you've never even introduced yourself in that space, you've never participated, you literally join the Facebook group, do not participate and just instantly start selling, instantly start putting your own videos up in their space, instantly like promoting your stuff. Like it's just not okay. It's like going to somebody else's workshop. It's like someone coming to my workshop, taking the microphone out of my hand and and presenting their own material. You just don't do it, right? Okay, so that's the bee that I get in my bonnet on this stuff. And a few weeks ago, I wrote a post in my group. It's called the Self Love Hub. Uh, And I wrote a post saying, like, enough already with the self-promotion. Like, that's not what this space is for. But if you do genuinely have something that's of benefit to this community, let me know, run it by me, and we'll, we'll, we'll put it out there. So this beautiful woman, turns out beautiful woman, right? Because we've since connected, came in and was following her coach's instructions. She joined the group and she started posting her stuff. And so I privately mess. I did what I do, which is delete and block. That's just, there's no drama. I just delete the posts and block the person and leave it at that. And that's what I've been doing for years. Uh, But with this one, the bee was really in my bonnet. And so I private messaged her. Now this private message came from a place of deep clarity, deep self-love, and actually love for her. Because I felt very sure that she was doing something that she'd been told to do. So it wasn't her fault. And I could tell she was, I could feel the energy of her post as well. I could tell that she was a little bit desperate and like just wanted to, she's trying to find a way to sell her stuff, to get, to get her material, you know, in the eyes of other people, of her ideal clients. I get it. I I do understand. And so I wrote this post. It was very empowered because I, I'd felt into it. I'd considered what I was going to say, say, I wasn't being a bitch. I wasn't being a victim. There was no drama. It was just, it's not okay to come into my space and sell your stuff. Now, she was clearly an empowered woman too. Because the way she responded to my email, she sat on it for a bit and she felt terrible. And she responded very apologetically. And she responded with, this is what I'm being taught to do. But she felt disingenuous. She didn't feel aligned with with what she was doing either. And my message was a real wake up call for her. And so she she told me her background story and 
she has had a really tough time of COVID. Like her original business has gone out the window because it involved a lot of travel. And, uh, and so she's having to start over again with an, an online business. And so she's learning new ways of connecting with people. And you could tell that, you know, she'd had a tough time of it. She was very vulnerably sharing her story with me. And uh, and through her share, I went back as well in a, with another level of like uh, loving energy, uh, of just like wanting to help her and, and and relating to her. I understood her. And she came back and she said, oh, God, I just, you know, I felt so awful the last couple of days thinking about this. I can't believe I did that. I'm not going to do it anymore. I've left that coaching program. I'm not going to follow that model anymore. Like this has been a great wake up call. Thank you so much. I just wish that I could have, you know, we could have done this over a cup of coffee. So I was like, so let's jump on a call. Let's have a Zoom. So we did the next day, which was so lovely. And she's such a great woman and she's doing amazing things in the world. And she just wants to reach her people. And we had a really beautiful, healing and empowered conversation, which is a total win-win because I got to speak my truth very lovingly, but very clearly my boundaries were strong. And, and that felt good for me to be able to do that. And she got to speak her truth. Uh, she, she had a bit of a wake up call as well. And she got to speak her truth and she, my courage to say how it was and lay down my boundaries that modeling to her enabled her to then go to the coach that she was working with and say, I'm not going to do this anymore. And she pulled out of that coaching program. Um, and, and she felt really good about it. And she realized that through this interaction that she and I had the importance of connecting with your empowered self, connecting with the truth of who you are, feeling deeply aligned and on purpose, and then going out as a businesswoman, then going out and selling your wares, promoting yourself, connecting with people in a way that felt really aligned for her. That wasn't just, yeah, yeah say no more. It felt really aligned for her. So I really wanted to, um, to share that experience because it was a beautiful win-win and a beautiful example of what can happen when, when we show up in the world as our empowered self and we're doing our own work and we're able to speak our truth from a place of love, from a place of I've, I've like cleaned up my own side of the street. I'm not coming at you from a wounded energy or a wounded space or, or a need to protect myself or, you know, fight my corner. Just to, like, this is, this is my world. These are my boundaries. And the way you're allowed to interact with me is, is this. Um, and uh, she's great. And I have a feeling we'll be friends, you know, and... And I look forward to seeing her succeed and do really, really well with her beautiful coaching business, uh, which is so heart centered. And she's clearly, you know, really helping people in the world. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share that little interaction with you. I hope it's helpful. And if you are a, an entrepreneur, perhaps you're a coach, perhaps you're a new coach and you're being invited to jump into lots of other people's Facebook groups and just sell your stuff. I really invite you to think twice before doing that. I really invite you to get involved in their community first. Be a part of the community. Just get involved, share your wisdom, share your knowledge, listen to people, contribute in an authentic way, build your relationship with the owner of the group, with the people in the group. Do that because that's what humans do, right? We, we get to know each other first. And then if you wanna promote yourself, Maybe privately message the owner of the group and ask their permission or ask if there's a way that you can serve their community with what you have. It's, it's a very different energy. Okay. Enough said. Have a beautiful Friday.